Alright, I will show you this really cool, simple thing that I use all the time while modeling, and it's called two edge loop and delete, or just two edge loop. So what it is is, say for example, let's just add some edge loops like this, right? So if you want to select the whole edge loop, usually you select that one and then double click that, and it will select your edge loop for you. If you want to do all of them, you have to double click on the edge loop and that's how you select it. So what two edge loop and delete is, or two edge loop is, if you hold, you select your edge, you hold shift right click, actually no, control right click, you'll see this thing here called edge loop utilities. And if you go into that, you get two edge loop and two edge loop and delete. These are the two I always use. So what it will do is, say for example you select, instead of double clicking your edge loop like this, if you select just that, hold control right click to edge loop here, it'll select your edge loop for you. So the cool thing with that is you can, instead of having to double click, shift double click, shift double click, for example, you can literally just shift double click this way and then go whoops, to edge loop and do it that way. So that's the benefit of to edge loop. Also, what you can do is if you press the G key, what it will do is repeat whatever process you did. So if you select that, press G, and then just press shift, click, and then G again, it'll keep, you can keep adding edge loops to it really quickly. So what ed to edge loop and delete is, is it's the exact same process, but what it will do is it'll select the whole edge loop for you, and then it will delete the vertex and the edge loop itself. So usually if you double click this and delete, you will notice the vertex is still here, you have to manually delete the vertex separately. But if you have two edge loop and delete, what it will do is you simply click on that, go control, right click, two edge loop, utilities, and then two edge loop and delete. And it will, you'll notice it gets rid of the verts as well. So this can be really handy because if you want to get rid of all these edge loops really quickly, you can simply just shift click these, control right click, two edge loop, delete, done, all the verts are gone. And if it's the last thing you did, you can simply just click another edge, press G, and you can get rid of edge loops very quickly. So I very rarely double click anymore. For me, I hotkeyed it to Shift E will do to edge loop, and then Control E, e will get rid of it. So for me, while I'm working, I can just simply click stuff really, really fast like this. Or you can get used to the motion, which is kind of like a tick. So with those sorts of menus, right, if you know where it is, so control right click to here, and then you've got this second sub menu. If you know where it is, you can hold control right click and move and it will automatically go into that for you. So you can just come up here and press this. So if you get kind of used to it, I haven't done it for a while, you can kind of just pre-do, you can kind of just pre-do the move you need. Or you can do what I did and just hotkey it which is just much easier. But yeah, this is just a very simple trick that I use constantly while modeling. I, I'll always use this. But the main thing is, when you are using two edge loop and delete, keep in mind that if you're working on something really small and subtle, you know, over here, keep in mind that it will go around your entire mesh and delete everything. So if you have topology which curves around corners, stuff like that, you might end up deleting a lot of your mesh if you're not careful with that. So just keep that in mind.